It's the Daily Special with Kimberly Ray Miller! Welcome to the Daily Special. Today is Wednesday, April 9th, and I may seem like I'm always happy and perky and like a pleasant person to be around, but sometimes I'm a bitch, and sometimes I get really pissed off, okay? And like, there are things that rub me the wrong way, and the other day I had my Kim Kim with me, and I went a little ape. Here it is. You know, I really enjoy being a woman, and I'm really like glad that I was born a woman, but there are so many f***ing things that I'm sick of. Like, call out to you on the street, and you know, that just happened to me, and I'm so sick of it. It's happened my entire life, and I'm sure it's happened to you. But you know what? Women deserve a f***ing more respect than they get from men, you know? Yeah, I have a great ass, but you know what? I'm not gonna f***ing announce to the f***ing world, and thank you for objectifying me in front of entire You know what? I am f***ing sick of it. Like, you calling out to crazy. I'm f***ing crazy. Who the f*** do you think you are calling after people like that? You know what? I deserve a little bit more respect than a f***ing like you. has nothing better to do on his day than call after women in the middle of the f***ing street. Crazy I'm f***ing crazy apparently. Okay, let's go to today's specials. Yeah. Well, after taking an appropriate amount of time to grieve her last relationship, Pam Anderson is now dating Chris Angel, which is a change for her. She's finally dating someone who has class and talent. <laughs> right, okay, Bob Dylan, speaking of talent, won the Pulitzer Prize, yay Bob. When asked about his achievement, he said, ah, <laughs> and Project Runway fans, it's a sad day, but the show's going off Bravo and on to Lifetime, which will mean big changes for the show. The first challenge will be to make a pair of mom jeans. <laughs> No one on the couch. Hmm. I think I could use the phone. Let's see who I'm gonna call. Hi, this is Kim from the Daily Special. Is this Kimberly Wilson? This is Kimberly Wilson. Everyone, this is Kimberly Wilson, who is the creative director of Tranquil Space Yoga. She's also the author of Hip Tranquil Chick. And she's got a blog and a podcast. She's got everything. Um, so Kimberly, now I know a lot of us sit at desks all day long and it can be really hard on our body. Do you have any suggestions for a great yoga pose to help relax, unwind, and keep physically fit while we're at work? Yeah, one of my favorites is uh, just a basic chest opener. And what this does is it helps to relieve the tension from being hunched over your computer all day. So to, to do this, just sit up nice and tall in your chair and bring your arms behind your back and interlace your hands. And then lift your arms up and then take a gentle sway from side to side. If I weren't holding a phone right now, I'd be fantastic at it. So your book, um, Hip Tranquil Chick, talks about, you know, living yoga, yoga principles on and off the mat. Do you have any tips for bringing the principles of yoga into our daily life? Definitely. One of my favorites is a swadhyaya, which means self-study. So some ways to practice swadhyaya is just kind of listening, observing your thoughts. Also, journal writing or taking time to meditate can be a really good way to get to know yourself better. And so even moderation with finances, you know, a way where you, you don't spend more than you make. You know, you're, you're moderate with um, how you go about living your life. Hmm, wow. I don't know that I'm capable of that because I'm getting a tax return. Um, <laughs> Kimberly, thank you so much for joining us today. We're out of time, but everybody should check out Chankel Space to find out more about Kimberly Wilson and all of her amazing things. Her blog, her podcast, her book. Thanks so much, Kimberly. Thank you. Bye. Kimberly Wilson, everyone. On the yellow phone, we have Jay Harvey for more celebrity gossip. So tune in. We'll see you then.